to the channel guys as you've seen in the title I've outsourced some welding work to uh, a local company looked at the stuff on Facebook looks really good uh, for got friends in common for you know I usually use Phil if I can't do it myself if it's anything above my level I, I speak with Phil uh, a friend of mine but he's well under and I thought you know this guy looks good his work looks good I'm um, gonna outsource my Merc because I've just got far too much on I've got Tommy Mac to do still got my Mark to Escort so that needs building uh, the Merc still wants the engine out as well as the welding as well as paint as well as I've got Pulsar in bits that needs sorting as well as my little Mark 1 Cortina in bits, as well as Scooby Box needs pulling out and some synchros, new synchros printing box, and a Link ECU fitting. Just far too much on. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, sh show you, I can't video the car because it, it's it's away at Chris's, but Chris has been kind and sent me some pictures over. So, I'm going to show you these pictures and we'll have a bit of a talk through what part of the car this is. I will will then go through the repairs. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this one, and uh, we will update it later on with either further pictures and see the car in person. So stay tuned. Let's let's have a look at these. So this is the Merc for a few who's not seen it. Had it a while. Uh, needs a bit of love in the places, but. Uh, yeah, these next pictures are what uh, Chris found when he took the kit off, which is I was well aware of. So this is the driver's side rear arch. As you can see here, it's uh, very poorly. That's the outer and the inner, and all the way down the back. So that's the lower rear quarter. Driver's front. That's the driver's rear arch front lower lip as you can see it's gone and to it had gone on the inner section so onto the passenger side as you can equally as bad probably not as bad but looks a bit better but you know still needs inner and outer arches and now that's the again that's pass front lower so that definitely needs some love and I'll get to the inner picks so you see that shot. That's the rear, not as bad. That is that's the rear jacking point on the passenger side. So that's typical for every 190E you see on the road. That's a common rust trap on the rears. If you've got one or looking at one, you need to be checking these. As you can see, mine's shot. So that will need repairing or replacing. Just another angle of a jacking point. That is the rear inner back. That's the driver's lower. As you can see, that's completely short. Again, at the back of the arch. Holes everywhere. So that's cut out. That's the inner well all cut out, ready for new sections. Good metal found. And that's the driver's rear inner pouring. So you see he's done a nice job of that. And repairs to the inner. Inner section pieced on the wheel arch. That's the outer driver's rear jacking point all repaired. And all fresh steel in there. Made a really nice job of that. Going to look good when it's done. Just another angle just to show you how good it looks. And that's the rear of that driver's solid now 
all welded up. And that's the front of the arch. All nicely folded, lipped over. So as we can see guys, it's uh, wasn't healthy, but uh, I feel it's in the right hands. Chris looks to be doing a good job. Uh, he's, he's down on Facebook as Chris's Fab Shop. So give him his page a search and a like. Definitely does good work, uh, reasonable prices. Been and I've actually seen it when he put the inner arch in and you know he's done a real real nice job. Uh, good attention to detail. Uh, like I said, I did study all his pictures, went through all the uploads and, and stuff. If you can't find a panel, you will fabricate the panel. So yeah, it's just nice to find someone passionate about what they do, uh, take a good standard. Definitely any fabrication, metal work, just take to him. Uh, just, I can't remember the last time I did some metal work, to be honest. I think it was pro probably the Cortina. Oh, sorry, it weren't. It were my Evo. We put the legs in, didn't we? But uh, obviously they're not too bad. They're like literally drill spot weld. I class that as basic welding. So because all I've done is really cut it out. Replace, you know, a bit of welding on some panels and, and to be honest most of it's plug welds But uh, but yeah, really looking forward to getting the Merc back once we've all the welding done See if we can push it on and actually get it back on the road uh, But yeah, really happy so as soon as I get some more pictures vi Short little short video of this guys. I'm not, not gonna bore you too much. Just kind of got some pictures May as well put them on. Let you have a look. See what you think uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything you you, you spot but uh, I've had a good look through them and, and really happy with how things are progressing so yeah cheers uh, don't forget to like and subscribe come back into the comments let me know what you think uh, and I will make a part two to this once the rest of the welding's done and we'll go through it and when I pick it up we'll have a, a bit of a look round but yeah, cheers guys, see you next time.